Good morning, everybody. It is Michelle Dawn with Daily Inspirations, and we are going to do our day. Um, my son has already actually started his day because he's good like that. So you're gonna hear some clicking and stuff in the background. But this is. Um, you hear no clicking. I muted. No, I can hear clicking. I could a minute ago. All right. So anyway, this is we have. Um, decided to try the fly lady method of cleaning. Um, I recommend not to sign up for her email. Sorry, fly lady, but that was just too overwhelming. Um, but her system is awesome. So this is, uh, she recommends you do a control journal and this is the routine section of ours. And this is our morning routine. So make the bed. Um, go to, go in the bathroom and do your thing, right? Switch the toilet. That way you don't have to do, you don't actually clean the toilet. You're supposed to do that once a day. Um, take the laundry to the washer. So let's get started. Oh, the bed is made. Ta-da! Don't mind the plastic on the window. That's getting taken care of. Feels good to have a made bed in the morning. We don't have a, you know, pretty bedding or anything yet, but. I'm her child. <laughs> Just in case you thought maybe I had some random kid in my house, this is my son. <laughs> you probably have seen him in videos before if you watch my channel. Do, 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 do. Okay, we are done with rise and shine section of the morning. Um, the bed is made. I have done my face, hair, teeth, and bathroom duties. Um, and the laundry is in the washer. In fact, um, this part's done as well. So um, my daughter empties the dishwasher, that's her job. Um, we have already eaten breakfast and fed the dogs and the bearded dragon. So, next thing on the list is to check the calendar and make the to-do list. And that is where the everyday planner comes in. So, let me move this one to the side. All right, so here are my two um, uh, notebook kind of things. So this is actually a cover and discs from a planner, but it is not a planner. Um, this is my getting things done section. This is my actual planner. And September. So we're looking at the, the monthly today. Um, today's the 14th. Nothing going on today. Nothing I have to prepare or think about for tomorrow already. So I can actually work on some other things. And so I am going to do some, um, I'm going to do my med list, vitamin list, pain scale, and mood scale for my planner. Okay. Today is Monday, September 14th. And I am going to make, I'll just write them down, my vitamin and supplement list. I'll just write a vitamin list. My med list, vitamin list, pain scale, and mood scale for my wellness planner. Um, also, it is the first day of school today. We were going to do that last week, but that did not work out so well. Uh, everybody got sick so and then over here is where I am going to get back to this one. 
Okay, Monday is the weekly home blessing hour. Um, so I'm going to write that. I'm just gonna write weekly home blessing. Again, hopefully you can see me. Okay, so that is um, just quick sweep it, sweep and mop. We don't have carpet, so we're just gonna do a quick, quick a quick sweep and mop. Um, and I'm going to use my amazing Norwex cloths to clean up the mirrors and doors. Or um, I don't know. I, I guess that's that would be the the storm door. So we'll do mirrors and doors. Um, purge the mail, which actually we did yesterday. Change the sheets, which also I did yesterday, and empty the garbage. So that's for the weekly home blessing hour. You're supposed to spend 10 minutes on each task about, and if it takes you a little more or a little less, it's still gonna work out to be almost about an hour. So that's Monday. And then um, this week we are in zone three. So, I'm going to check and see what our, um, this is the, for the week. This is the tasks of the week. Um, I'm going to check and see which ones have to be done today or which ones she suggests doing today. Okay, so again, this is a new thing we're trying and uh, two new things I'm trying actually. The uh, cleaning routine as well as the dashboard layout. So um, I kind of confused myself. Sorry about that. I went back and looked at the cleaning information and have decided that this is how I'm going to use this part of the dashboard. Um, last week I put the cleaning in that spot like all of the jobs that need to be done for the week. Last week was the kitchen. But then I also put it over here for which day it was supposed to be done. And I felt like that was really redundant. Um, especially since I also have that list right here. So I instead this week am using this list for projects that I'd like to work on this week. Um, this is still my my to-dos or reminders. So what I did here is I took my getting things done list out and rather than getting it out every single day, every morning, I am going to attempt to put the things that I'd like to get done that week in this box. And then, am I shouting? <laughs> I just suddenly realized that I feel like I'm shouting. And then in the morning, when I'm doing my to-do list for the day, I will reference this list rather than go back to the getting things done notebook. Um, and then that way I only have to look, go to the getting things done notebook once a week. I can do that at the end of the week when I'm planning for next week or the beginning of the week like I did this morning. I probably would rather do it um, Sunday night, even if I did wait until the beginning of the week, because uh, doing it in the morning kind of took up too much time. Okay, so I'm also tracking um, my journaling. I'd like to get back in the habit of doing that every single day. I fell off of that for a few months. Um, I know a lot of people are going through a lot <laughs> over the last few months. So I'm sure you can understand. I'd like to also continue my movement habit that I just started and incorporate outside time into that. So what I've been doing is taking the dogs for a walk every day. Um, my movement, I'm, my goal is 15 minutes a day. And so far, I have been able to make it five houses down 
from mine and back. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. No applause, just throw money. So I'm actually quite proud of myself for that. That is quite an accomplishment for this body. Check accounts, so did that, and swap the laundry. Probably cannot hear it, but it is going. Took my vitamins, and so now it's time for some morning meditation and checking my email before I get into my list for the day. And once again, the children have already started homeschool. <laughs> All right. Hey, you want to see my Once again, what is the best part about homeschool? Dragons. Sit down so I can see you. Ah, no, she's climbing on my head. Sit down so I can see you. What's the best part about homeschool? Uh, I get to be with my dragon. It's so weird. All right, it is now after lunch and our schedule for the day is basically wake up, get ready, eat breakfast, start school, um, and, you know, household things that I like to do in the morning. Um, lunch break includes 30 minutes of physical or creative activity. And um, my son and I went for a walk with the dogs, and then we made a, um, little video a reel an instagram reels thing so that was our activity of the day and then um now he is getting ready to go back to his lessons and i am going to do my lists so um this is a list of the vitamins that we take so i'm going to put that on on a an actual like nice list because this is my wellness planner it's does not come with these discs and cover I switched it out um, but basically this is where I track um, all of my health stuff so I put a little divider back here and I'm going to put this is the detox cocktail recipe that my immunologist gave me. So I have that back there now and I'm going to write it out with the other vitamins and meds so that it can fit in here. This is the planner I take to my doctor visits. Hi everybody, it is actually Tuesday. Um, yesterday kind of fell apart on me. So today we're, we, I started over today, so it is not the morning. I actually slept in today. Um, it was a rough night health-wise, so I needed to recover. And I've already done the morning routine and Tuesday's <clears throat> daily thing is, uh, um, Tuesday is plan and play day. Um, I haven't figured out what she means by play, but plan. 
Um, obviously, you just look at next week and see what you need to do. So we haven't gotten into meal planning just yet. Um, that is something we aspire to do. So I'm going to look at the activities, homeschool things, and prescriptions and vitamins and supplements and see if I need any refills and just get that taken care of for the day. And then for my day, for my weekly um, planner here, I can't even remember where we left off yesterday, but I did not get to do the other things on my list. Um, I had a crash and burn moment or rest of the day. So I ended up laying down and taking a nap. Um, and then I just was in too much pain and not feeling well enough to do anything the rest of the day. So uh, transferred pain, I'm sorry, excuse me, mood scale and weekly home blessing to today. Um, pain scale can wait. That's just something I want to have in my planner. Um, I'm trying to be kinder to myself and recognize my limits. So I'm scaling back on what I'm expecting of myself each day. So I'm, I'm going to make my mood scale today. Trendster buddy. Did you shut your door? No. Please. They have no evidence that it was him guys and they voted that it was him <laughs> okay so um the weekly home blessing hour yesterday uh didn't happen either so if you remember i think it's in this section nope monday's weekly home blessing hour was to do a quick sweep and mop polish up your mirrors doors and I already did the rest. So um, my daughter's going to do the sweeping and mopping. I don't have the energy and her job is sweeping anyway. We're just we're trying to blend the cleaning routine with what we've already got established. So um, that's that. So then I can check this off now and then make my mood scale and do some mindfulness exercises. I actually already did my movement and upside. I took the doggos for a little stroll. I have to say stroll because they they know, we were saying W, oh, I, I can't say that either now, um, but they know that W stands for W-A-L-K. And so now we had to change it to stroll so they don't get too excited when it's not happening. <laughs> All right, I had yellow, pink, and that color. All right. Oh, I don't get to do pink yet. I didn't journal yet. I did go outside. I moved while I was out there. I only made it four houses today. Four houses and back. But it's better than nothing, right? And it's a beautiful, beautiful day out today. And we're doing beef and sweet potatoes for dinner. Organic grass-fed beef, organic sweet potatoes. I'm not sure about how I'm gonna use this section of the dashboard because there's no way I'm gonna be able to do, even work on all of my projects in a week. It's it's only Tuesday, but this is, you know, this is typical for me. I need to be able to be flexible and kind of just do it as I go. So we'll see. I guess that's it for the blog of the, or vlog of the day or week actually because of that whole problem yesterday, but who knows? Maybe I'll check in again tomorrow or the next day and the next day. We'll see. Either way, stay inspired. I completely forgot to make my mood chart. So that's what I'm doing now. And then you can stay inspired. All right, so my mood chart is in my lists section. This is the 
giant size version and I'm going to try to condense it down to this size. Goodbye, everybody. This is me, Trent, and my mom, Michelle, or Daily Inspirations. And today, you watch Plan With Me vlog for September, week of September 14th. Have a good day, and be inspired. <laughs>